Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. Is it okay if you could have your camera on as well? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, but today is week actually. So maybe tomorrow? Yes, sure. No worries. Okay, so... I have kids since you were crying yesterday. So I can't manage. That's okay. Okay, no worries. Um, okay, so yesterday I was going to ask you a few more questions, but I couldn't because... Um, you couldn't make the lesson. So yes. how would you handle um, undeserved? That's okay, no worries. How would you handle undeserved criticism from a superior? So let's say someone, um, a manager starts yelling at you, uh, not yelling at you, um, criticizing you, but uh, criticizing you unfairly. You don't deserve this. How would you handle it? First, I, I will manage with my nature maybe with my nature with my behavior maybe smile on face be positive with works and with with the person if they maybe not uh, if, if they maybe not uh, mingles with me or maybe then i try to uh, try to complain with the manager or maybe with okay you try to uh-huh So you try to, you would try and, so you first will be nice and uh, smiling and still be polite. Yes. Uh, but then you would, if they, if it continues, you would complain to someone even higher in a higher position. Mm. Okay, good. And what, it, it, tricky question now, what if it is your only manager? What if it is that person in the highest position that is, is yeah. giving you unfair criticism? Okay, it's not un unfriendly with me, with the situation. Mm. Okay, then I want to manage and say something about the person who starts querying, querying, or maybe just uh, feeling anger in front of me. If they not handle, then I maybe uh, just uh, smile and just do don't react that time. That time maybe don't react, don't give any reaction to him or her. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Maybe quiet is the biggest, uh, <laughs> biggest, uh, what? Maybe quiet is a good challenge. Oh, yes. Is the, is the, is, is the best, sol to best solution to be quiet. But I mean, let's say, let's say that this manager keeps going at you. Let's say he's your boss, okay? And your boss keeps giving you criticism after criticism and it doesn't stop. It's not, it's not just on a day. It just keeps going on and on and on. What would you do eventually? Eventually, ma'am, I, I just handle. If not, then, then I came back. And maybe maybe tomorrow, then next day, maybe... Hello? Maybe next day... Hello? Hello. Maybe next day, I want to just best solution. I have maybe best solution. If I have time, maybe next day, tomorrow. Oh, to, you might find another solution tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe okay. Come back at my home that time, and then maybe tomorrow I will handle. Oh, the following day. Okay, you, the, you will handle the follow. The, the, you will handle it the following day. But how do you think you would handle it? Like personally, how? What do you think you would do? Would you leave? Would you? Would you confront your manager and tell him, "Look, I don't know why you're doing this. Why you're saying these things about me?" And would you have a confrontation, or would you leave your job? Ma'am, can't leave with, can't leave the job that time. Uh, maybe just uh, give some time, and then after maybe manage. Take some take some time, and uh -huh. then after some time, maybe tomorrow or maybe another day, must be managed all the things. Okay, you try and you try and keep on keep managing it. You try and keep on being. Um, in a way, you know, unresponsive to it, not responding to his anger and his um, his undeserving comments. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, stick around. Okay, Kushbu, because I will come back to you. Uh, Devika. Hi, ma'am. Hi. So what would you do if a customer verbally insulted you in front of co-workers? Um, I will stay calm. And I will tell him sorry if I haven't done anything wrong to him. And uh, 
um, if there is anything uh, wrong with him, I will try to um, make him understand. And uh, he's not uh, understanding. I will call my manager or superior um, and tell him the problem. Yeah. Your superior is there and he is watching this and he is watching your, the customer being very, very angry with you and verbally insulting you. He, your co-workers and your superiors are there. So they're seeing um, everything and he's verbally insulting you. How are you going to react? Um, I will try to stay calm now. I will not... Uh, shout at him. Um, I, I will make him understand um, my point of view. Okay. And let's say he does not um, un let, let's say he does not understand and he continues shouting at you. What will you do then? Mm. I will do whatever I can to comfort him okay so Maybe you will try uh, is um, if his problem is with me then I will uh -huh. uh, call my another co-worker and um, let him speak to him let him deal with with the customer yes okay okay yeah that is a good idea um, What's another option that you could do? Could you could you maybe go up to your manager and and maybe say something or? Yes, um, I will uh, tell my manager that the customer has some problem with me. Uh, there is not um, anything wrong with me. Mm -hmm. So, but he is not understanding. Can you help me? I will ask. Okay, good. You can ask for help. Good. Thank you. Okay. Do you have? Can you turn your camera on? Uh, okay, ma'am. Because it would be great if I could see exactly mm. your your body language as well. Um, how would you react? What would you do if you saw a colleague stealing supplies or equipment from from the company? So your co-worker uh, is stealing. Okay, I will uh, stop him and tell him that it's not a good thing and um, uh, try to change his mind. If he is not changing his mind, I will uh, immediately call my superior. Okay. And what would you say to your superior? And would you do it in front of your colleague? I'm sorry, ma'am? Would you call your superior in front of your colleague or wait until your colleague leaves? No, in front of my colleagues. Okay, and um, what would you say to your superior? That, uh, that, that my colleagues are stealing the office stuff and I try to change their mind, but they are not listening to me. Okay, and what your superior in a twist of events tells you that you are ratting your colleagues out? Highly unlikely, but what if it, they, your sphere tells you that's not teamwork? Um, maybe I can uh, picture it and send to my uh, superior. Take a, so, take a photo of it. So you're yeah. not ratting him out directly in front of him. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And how would you handle undeserved criticism from a superior? So let's say your superior start, starts shouting at you for nothing. How would you handle it? Uh, I will not sh shout at him in return uh, because he is my boss. Um, mm -hmm. I will uh, try to maintain my uh, calmness. Mm -hmm. Maintain composure. Um, yeah, maintain my composure. And then uh, I will. Um, I will say... Um, like, um, I will ask him what is the thing that wrong in me. Um, then I, I would ask him what the problem is, what, what, why he seems to have a problem with me. Yeah. Okay. Mm 
Uh -huh. um, so I said, um, and uh, obey his orders. Uh, okay, you'd obey his orders, even if he if he is giving you feedback that is not fair at all. Would you still obey him? I obey him, him ma'am. Yes. Okay, so you, you're going to ask him what the problem is with you and he's not going to tell you and he keeps giving you unfair criticism. You will keep taking it. No, I will ask him why. Um, if his answer is okay. genuine, mm -hmm. I will uh, understand it. If it's not, uh -huh. um, if it's not, uh, I will tolerate my at my best. You would you would stick it out, yes. and you wouldn't leave your job. Okay. No. Okay, you would stick it out. Okay, and do you think do you think if there's you're being treated so unfairly, there will come a point where you have to take a stand and say no, I am not going to do this. Uh, like if uh, it's um like it's only uh quarreling with me i will um adjust it but he's um uh, making something more than that like um what mm, something that is not uh actually done by me and he is um what um uh, yes you could be blamed for something uh, that's not you that's not your fault that, hello 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 ma'am hello i don't know what happened there mm -hmm. um so if, if you blame blames me for something that's not your fault, what are you going to do? Yeah. I will ask him why and uh, try to tell him that I was not uh, wrong in this case. You are just blaming me. Okay. But in a normal way, not in, not in shouting manner. Not angry. No, 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 of course. And but Okay, and if he doesn't believe you that it's not your fault, what happens then? Okay, I think Devika's having some trouble. Okay, Shiva, are you there, please? Hello. Hi, Shiva, how are you? Yes, ma'am. Hello. Hi, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Fantastic. Okay, um, so what would you do if a customer verbally insulted you in front of co-workers? Um, customer is the biggest asset for any business. So definitely uh, not... I do not oppose that matter in front of the customer. Rather, I would put posters and hoardings uh, around the shop that be polite with the staffs and, you know, other stuff. Okay, but let's say a customer does this to you in front of colleagues. Uh, how are you going to react? Uh, Ma'am, that won't affect much to me because after all, they are my colleagues and they have been working with me for months or weeks so they know me better than that customer okay so i expect uh, them to not to be much judgmental upon that okay so you wouldn't feel embarrassed or humiliated um so and they they wouldn't they wouldn't judge you uh they they, they would not be judgmental over the whole situation but my question is how will you react towards the customer what will you do um, usually, it happens with me that uh, while dealing with persons, while dealing with partners or in laboratories, it happens to be that we have an opposition in the thoughts or uh, opinions. Okay, so I'm very used to it. So I won't react much. I would politely uh, speak to the customer that, sir, it's my business or, sir, this is how we follow the procedure. Okay. I'm um, sorry, can you switch on your camera if it's possible only? 
ma'am i'm very sorry uh, maybe in the next session because there's yeah. some driver issue with the no laptop. worries no worries uh and what would you do so even if they insult you if they're being insulting and swearing at you you would still answer politely yes ma'am I'll, I'll answer politely because that mouth publicity publicity is a very big thing in the business if i am going to fight with that customer that fight may be of 5 minutes to me but the mouth publicity that the customer will do to the outer world will harm my mm -hmm. business and ultimately my salary or my income okay and what you would you do if you saw a colleague stealing supplies or equipment uh, ma'am definitely uh, in many of the stores uh, there are cctv cameras so mm -hmm. i would get a recording of that and report it to the senior very secretly you okay you would do it secretly you wouldn't you wouldn't warn your colleague from beforehand no, saying no ma'am listen i've seen you do it don't do it okay yeah because i am not the one who, whose duty is to warn him or decide that what to do to him maybe the seniors can yeah and how would you handle undeserved criticism from a superior um uh, i have been criticized many times in life before mm -hmm. i'm just 19 right now okay so um uh, in the college in the first year of my college i got a lot of criticism related to my lot of works so i am used to handling criticism but mm -hmm. in case the criticism is more and more i would love to have a direct and a polite debate with the person who is criticizing me okay uh so so you would just have a polite word with them and and understand try and understand why yes ma'am okay and let's say they don't have a good reason there's no good reason for it for how would you react what would you do if they they are a superior i mean would you stick around with the job would you would you would, retaliate will, how would you react surely i will ensure them that i will take care of their opinion from the next time i'll try to improve i'll promise them that i'll improve but still if the criticism continues to be 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 times then definitely there are more and more companies out there very good question uh, very good answer and what would you do if a colleague took credit for your idea and got a promotion ma'am um, this has been done with me uh, about 2 to 3 times <laughs> oh dear okay so uh, i'm kind of used to it but but still um whenever i do what uh, if it is done if the credit has been stolen there is no way of returning okay so i will take care while doing the work itself that everything is recorded and everything is documented okay in my in my opinion there's no solution because the credit has been stolen and now if you try to get back the credits to you then it will harm your image ultimately okay so you don't you have you've reacted every time you've reacted in the same way i know uh when it happened to me very first time i mm -hmm. was out there with a heavy debate and documentation Mm -hmm. but from the very next time uh, i thought that there's something called as karma and let that do its work okay um uh, so you didn't try and stop it or tell anyone no it's my work uh no because you've never done would, that because because who would believe me that it's my work i mean people would mm -hmm. blame that i am being jealous of that person true is there no way you can have evidence for example is there a way that you can you can show some evidence that it's your work if it's there then i would definitely love to show it to my friends only not to the seniors okay so you still wouldn't show it to the senior you still you, yes, you still keep it yeah okay um fantastic okay uh, ashna no ashna is not a student <laughs> um devika again well done shiva yes ma'am hi devika okay so my question to you is uh what did you do 
when you had a boss you didn't get along with? Um, uh, the same answer, ma'am. I will uh, try to stay calm and um, try to be friendly with him. Mm -hmm. Try. I will try my best. Um, and I understand why he uh, don't like me. Okay. But you can't do anything about it in a way because, I mean, some people just don't like you. Um, and you just, you, you won't, some people you will never get along with. So how, what are you going to do then? Um, I cannot do anything about that because it's up to people. Okay. I will, I will uh, try to be gentle, uh, calm and uh, supportive uh, to everyone. Mm -hmm. If they don't like me, that's not my problem. Okay. Um, and, okay, if you take that attitude with your boss, however, and you're always clashing, let's say he's always picking on things about you because he really doesn't like you, so you're always clashing, clashing, clashing. Don't you think that amount of stress is going to hurt you in the workplace every day having to wake up and say, oh, I have to go there again? Of course, mom, there will be stress, but I will not hate my job. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, you will not hate your job. I will not hate my job. Okay. Uh, so, but how will you handle this? Maybe some yoga. Some yoga. And you Meditation. Find it, okay. okay. Um, yeah, you could, you could do that. Yeah. Why not? Um, okay. And my next question now is to Mansi. Hello, Mansi. Hello. How are you, Mansi? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So what would you do if a customer verbally insulted you in front of co-workers? And is it possible to switch on your camera? Hello? Hi, is it possible to switch on your camera? Fantastic. Uh, what would you do? The only reason is I'm, I'm also assessing you on your uh, non-verbal communication. So um, what would you do if a customer verbally insulted you in front of your co-workers? Hello? Hello? Mansi? Mansi? I think she lost connection. Mansi. Mansi? No. Yes, Mansi. No. Okay, Davika, back to you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, Davika. My next question to you is, what would you do if a colleague took credit for your idea and got a promotion? Um, uh, I don't trust him anymore. You wouldn't mm -hmm. trust him anymore, yep. Uh, and I will not share my ideas to anyone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I will make me understand that you'd become, has, you'd become very overprotective. Uh, like that. Mm -hmm. And I will make him understand that he has done a wrong thing. That's stealing someone's ideas, uh, not a good mm -hmm. thing. And yeah. And would you tell, would you tell anyone else apart from him? Would you report him or? Uh, I don't know, ma'am, because that's depend upon the situation. If it is it a, a um, it was a very big or um, 
super idea then i will uh-huh. i think i will report to my superior of course i will um, tell my friends about that or colleagues about that but, okay uh, but how will they believe you how will the superior believe you about you looking like you're jealous like shiva said how can you make it look uh, genuine Uh, i will t- uh, i will tell my friends about that my friends will believe me i i don't care if they don't believe me actually mm-hmm. well not your friends really i'm i'm talking more about your superior what what if your superior your boss does not believe you how are you going to give him real evidence uh i will i will only tell him uh, to um clear my point of you were um for my peace of mind mhm uh, i don't really want to um punish my colleague or something like that i just want uh-huh. to tell him that that was my idea that's it you don't want to rock the boat uh we say rock the boat to create waves to um to cause trouble Okay. but you want to make it clear and make it known that's your idea okay um and my next question is now to shiva yes ma'am okay so what did you do when you had a boss you didn't get along with have you ever had had a situation Hello. 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 Have you ever had a situation where you didn't get along with the boss? Yes, ma'am. The connection was lost. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Have you ever had a situation where you didn't get along with one of your bosses? Mm, no. And if you ever do have such a situation, what would you do if you and your boss continuously, continuously cl- clash? and definitely it's better to leave that position because uh, there are there are many positions out there for you if you have the talent and the metal within you okay because if you're having a lot of issues with your boss then it is going to harm your career ultimately mm-hmm. because you okay. won't be getting you won't you won't be getting promotions you won't be getting salary hikes you won't be getting appreciation for your good work so that will be ultimately destroying my career so better leave that company okay um but obviously there are things to consider when you're leaving the company because you have to be careful um that you're not just leaving the company without having another job set in place so and how would you what would you tell your boss how would you because you have to give a letter of resignation what would you say Uh, ma'am definitely if i am giving out something in written then that should be sweet irrespective of what i am really feeling okay like, so was... know, writing up the cliche words like better opportunities good location and etc etc to be very mm-hmm. honest it should be having sweet words efforts in written you you would you would keep it very neutral then you wouldn't you wouldn't before leaving tell your boss i'm leaving because of you yeah because the 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 bosses are having their connections so maybe they can use that piece of written information mhm okay very good and with regards to the job your um the situation because you told me you've had you've had problems with people taking your work have you ever con- confronted any of those people ma'am i have confirmed but unofficially i mean not in a written manner or not mm-hmm. over mail or message i just yeah. confronted them verbally in front of them okay so so yeah. you went and told them you took my idea yeah okay very ballsy and what did what did they say in return they had no answer usually they have no answer to this 
they they don't match eyes to eyes obviously <laughs> okay well well done guys for today it was lovely having you in class and i'll see you tomorrow bye excuse me ma'am uh, okay so